It's that time of year again. It is spooky season. This is Cindy. This is Mimi's Treasure Cottage, and I'm going to take you on a tour of my vintage Halloween decor. So if you've been following my channel for any amount of time, you know that I do these every year. <laughs> but every year there's some new stuff. So now you might have seen some of my pumpkin blow molds before. Um, I inherited this one from my family. And then I added a couple of other ones, including the one with the hole in his eye. But I just love him. He's fabulous. I added this year, well, I've had this before, but I don't know if I've put it out before. I put out this garland here across the mantle. Those are little die cuts. They hang and they kind of fly. I don't know how to explain that, but um, you can't really see their little faces when you do it. So I just put them here in the mantle um, garland. There's the other one over there. And um, then hanging down here in the center, is this and I absolutely love this I also inherited this this is actually an Uncle Fester hand puppet that my mother turned into a witch doll and uh, she also made this little witch um, broom and this little cauldron I picked up on the world's longest yard sale and when we go up above on the mantle you'll see that I also have a smaller version that I inherited so I, I I'm really happy to have her hanging right there in that cauldron. And then these are fun. I picked these up at an estate sale one time, but I thought that was a great place to hang them. And this little ghosty here, this is also something that my mother made. And um, so I'm very happy to have that hanging there. Coming up here on the mantle, I have my little dancing skeleton. This is a Magpie Ethel original. If you Also, if you watch my channel for any amount of time, you know that I am a big fan of Magpie Ethel. She is an, uh, has an Instagram account, and you'll find wonderful things over there. Um, this I inherited from my family. There's a note, some provenance on the bottom of it that says that it was found in the garage when they moved in, and that would have been 50-some-odd years ago, so it's at least that old. Um, and then up here on top of it, I added this year um, this Halloween hat, and I got that when I was with Katie of Vintage and Vinyl in Florida. I went down there and spent a week with Katie, and I picked that up at her favorite store, um, eco relics. I picked up this witch, this dancing witch, a number of years ago. We had one like this when I was growing up. And I also picked up this frame, and I always meant to do something with it. Um, and so I didn't have any glass or anything else, any other way to mount it. So I just tacked it up at the top with a little thumbtack. And I think it works perfectly. It gets it up, it displays it. And um, yeah, I love it. This is a little milkshake mixer and I have uh, my Halloween cupcake picks in there. This little skull was gifted to me by Ariana of the Withering Cottage, so I'm happy to display that. And then behind it, I'll show you this, I have a skeleton die cut and its head came off last year, a couple years ago, I don't know when. And so it is reclining with its uh, hand behind its missing head and the head is right there. So I thought that was kind of fun. And then the little box right beneath there, that's just a riser, um, just something I'm using. I have a Halloween noisemaker, a couple of them that I picked up and hung on to. This little witch here was uh, given to me by my sister as a birthday present a few years ago, so I was happy to add that. And I picked this up at an estate sale, and I just love her. Um, I had to keep her. Now, I think she's Brins, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that's what that was. And I do, you I noticed you saw the little price tag. I do tend to keep those on there in part because I some of these I paid way up for and I want my family to know what I paid for them in case something ever happens to me. 
This little guy here, this, uh, I absolutely love this. Uh, some artist created that. I bought that on the uh, Comfy Trusty Meetup in Chicago in 2020. I was happy to have that. Of course, I don't think any Halloween display can be, you know, right unless it has one of those tins. <laughs> it is on a spool riser and then beneath it, I have this vintage Halloween card on a flower frog. I have this lovely little October angel there, actually two of them with the pumpkins. Love them, those are fabulous. In this little box, I have some cupcake picks that would not fit in the um, thing I had over there. And then this, this is a Pam uh, original, Pamela Blanchard. So uh, I have two of those and uh, one of them was gifted to me by Angel Girl and I cannot, I think I bought the other one. You don't remember. <laughs> And I don't remember which is which. Um, love this. This is one of those paper mache pumpkins. And it actually, I don't know if you can see it down in there. It has this little light insert. And I bought this for $45. And I bought it right before the pandemic. Like right before. It was the very first weekend of March, I think, 2020. Right before everything shut down. And I was so glad to find that and get that. I love it. And I like to add these old bottles to my Halloween display. I just think they're a lot of fun. Um, I'm not sure where I picked that one up, but you know I picked it up because of the wonderful label on it. The next one I picked up on a private pick, that lemon oil one. And then the next one, and maybe the next two in front, I got from my uh, family's estate. So those were from my parents. Then I've got a couple of, um, there's actually three of those Halloween noisemakers in there and a little, uh, I love that little bean bag. I picked this up from a favorite vendor at the Yankee Peddler Festival, that witch in the middle, and then I picked this up recently, this year. Then over here, let's get out of the glare, this was a prize possession. I was on the hunt for that a couple of years ago. And I was really fortunate to find that at an antique store for $3. Yep, $3, you heard it. That's new, that uh, spray gun, garden hose spray, spray gun thing. Um, I picked it up this year and I don't really remember where, or at least I picked it up since last Halloween. That little guy, that's from Tarnished Treasures. She's been selling things over on Pamela Blanchard's channel on Saturday nights. Those are cupcake picks that I got from her that I didn't have any room. Um, to put in the other thing and then the bird food I got that on a private pick I was really happy I've been wanting one for a long time and I love this little ceramic ghost he reminds me of a girly candle that little ghost <laughs> is also from tarnished treasure picked up from Pamela Blanchard and then there's a little frog there because you know you can't have Halloween without little frogs I don't think and then here's some more of the wonderful um, bottles. Uh, the one in front is one that I inherited. The two glass jars behind it are ones from a private, actually all three of those I think are from uh, the private pick I did. This little thing is the mini cauldron I told you about. I inherited this from my family. It sat on our fireplace mantle forever growing up. And so I have put it on my mantle. Fun little uh, Halloween, uh, rattle and then now we're getting into my collection of uh, kitty cats black cats so I have several of these salt and pepper shakers that I've picked up um, over the years those are a pair this is like one of those little bisque um, like a bisque baby but as a black cat that one is a single shaker but of course I wasn't gonna leave it there wherever I found it at back there I have a little um, a little picture. I have one in front too. This is one of the two uh, pitchers, teapots, whatever that I bought recently. So those are new this year. This I bought a couple years ago. I believe this was part of a um, perfume bottle set. Love that die cut. Look at that cat. Isn't that cool with the honeycomb? And those beautiful shakers. Um, I did try to sell those for a while. Nobody picked them up so I brought them home. And uh, look at, this is the other one. And then there's the other 
Um, that's the teapot back there, and the other one that I showed you was the pitcher. Then we've got another cute little vintage Halloween card along with some cupcake picks and a flower frog. I only have one of these um, book uh, ends, but I wasn't going to, you know, not display it, of course. I had to have that. And then we'll take you back up there and show you that cat die cut. I love that. That Halloween costume box with the pumpkin um, cut out. I bought that on the world's longest yard sale. I was so excited to get it. And the kitty cat die cut I've had for a couple of years. Love it. Up there we have a girly candle, a staple box, and then we have another girly candle, one of the little pumpkin scarecrows. Um, some little black cat. Look at the little black cat ones. Those are like little wax cups. They're so much fun. And then we've got those two guys. Another die cut that I picked up along the way, that cat. Some of the tins. I do enjoy tins. I don't put them out very often, but I do have them out for Halloween. The little black and orange fused tin in the front, that's from my family's estate, as is the uh, red devil um, darts or whatever on the side. Some more tins down there, the stays on. And we're coming down. So there I have, that's a flash card. I love that. And that little bat is more, that's pretty contemporary. I picked up it, that up at an art and craft show sometime or another. And then here is my uh, Kmart Devil. And I adore this. It is messed up. <laughs> and I can fix that but I got it for a really good price because of that and so I added it to my collection this is the gumball machine that I bought with Katie last year on the world's longest yard sale and um, they showed me how to open the top with a knife they did not have the key and I tried a few times and I gave up because I was afraid um, oh boy the dust shows up in the camera uh, I was afraid I was going to ruin it. So one of these days I have to get in there and um, get a key made or something. So I can, because I want to put little Halloween things in there or little, you know, orange and um, black things. So down here we see I've got uh, some books. Well, that one, the George Georgie's Halloween in the middle. Next to it is a, oh, I don't know what they call that without pulling it out. Um, it's it like blots up your sweat <laughs> um, great die cut there this black flag insect spray I did pick that up on the world's longest shirt sale this year this chalice here I believe was gifted to me from uh, Pam Pamela Blanchard and I just stuck some little fun things in there this I just bought um, I love that that's fabulous. Um, I bought two of them, so I'm keeping one and I'm going to sell the other one. Then over here I have a little box where I'm displaying some little um, seals. Well, actually, these aren't seals. These are like German scrap. Can you see them? And then there's some seals behind them. That's a little cake decoration there in front. Love it. I have a Halloween postcard and a bingo card. My Jack and Jill magazine that I just picked up recently, I have that there. I made that little pumpkin uh, cup there. I love that. The Witch I picked up in an estate sale recently. Not sure um, when, but I don't think it was in last year's display. And then this black cat, my mom also made this. So I'm also very happy to have that. Then back here I have some more books. Look at that Meg's Eggs book. Isn't that fabulous? And then look at this one with the witch. So cool. And then we'll come around here to the doll heads. I love my collection of creepy doll heads. My husband's not so thrilled about it, though. <laughs> but maybe he can't see it as well over here. I have it closer to where he sits. Last year it was over where the uh, gumball machine is, and he had to look at it all the time. So... Hopefully he does not have to uh, be bothered with it this year. Uh, but I have quite a number of them, and I absolutely love them. And I have them displayed in one of these. Um, I think this would have gone on. There were some Pyrex that you could put in here or a chafing dish or whatever. Lots of people use these for uh, 
corralling books. So I put that there. And then of course we're back to the pumpkins. And I thought you might want to look and see what it looks like all together from a distance, what I get to look at all the time. You'll see me in the fireplace. Hello. Thanks for joining me everyone. If you like this sort of thing, the tours of my decor, my vintage decorations, do check out my playlist. I will put an iCard here and I will also put it in the uh, description of the video. They have lots of other wonderful videos for you to watch there as well and I add every year. I do St. Patrick's Day, I do Christmas, and I do Halloween. Thanks for joining me. I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Bye for now.